morning. This is a video newsletter for buysellshort.com for Sunday, April 27th. Uh, sorry about not sending out any alerts or being in the room on Friday. Wife had our baby boy Friday, uh, eight pounds, three ounces, very healthy, but uh, we're very tired and uh, I'm probably going to be in and out this week and video updates are going to be inconsistent. All depends on how the baby is. Uh, Let's get back to stocks here. We have the Dow 15-minute chart. We had a 100-point sell-off on Friday on bad economic data, spike in oil, but uh, market came back pretty nicely. We're in a bearish rising wedge right now. Still looks like support is 12,750. We are a tad bit overbought. If we flip to the daily chart, it looks really, really good here. We may see an attempt on 13K. But we could see a pullback to the 20-day exponential, which is also the uptrend line we had the breakout from a week ago. So we could see 12,600 before we get an attempt on 13K. Volume has been pretty decent. Uh, we are a little overbought as well on the daily chart. U.S. dollar continued its breakout on Friday. This despite the spike in oil prices. We've got the Fed meeting this week. Uh, they're expected to cut a quarter point, so if we see a quarter point and the Fed hinting at they're going to step back and let things play out for a while, we could see a really nice move in the U.S. dollar. And as I've been saying, the excuse the crooks have been using for pushing oil to 120 is a sell-off in the dollar, but over the last couple of weeks, the dollar dollar's pretty much stabilized and if we continue to see this breakout, that excuse disappears. And you're going to have all these lemmings that are in oil right now get their butts handed to them near term. We could see a nice 20% pullback in oil, which uh, we would definitely uh, welcome. SMH, big intraday move on Friday bounced back nicely if you're looking to add to your position or looking to initiate a position anywhere around the 20-day exponential or thirty dollars is your key target still remains you know the thirty two fifty to thirty three dollar level stock plays AGEN big pullback since it's moved to 390 two weeks ago we're back to the uptrend support line here move has been retraced a hundred percent ADX, if we scroll down here, remains really strong. Stochastics, we're in the basement here on stochastics, so we should see a nice bounce back in AGN this week. Um, strayed pretty far from its 20-day exponential. That's 239, so you're looking at 10% upside from these price levels. BCON, 115 and under is your nibble, po nibble point on this one. I like how the candles are setting up on this one, although with oil pulling back uh, or expecting oil to pull back, kind of iffy what happens here. If we see a move over 122, we're definitely going to see a test of 130 on this one. Would not be surprised to see BCON do what CPST has done and see this stock take over the leadership and Capstone take a backseat and start to retrace. So this one is definitely on strong watch. MNKD continues to consolidate in the 205 to 220 area still expect a big move in this one near term we're still way overbought on rsi and we're about to have a positive macd crossover and the last time we had a positive macd crossover was after mankind had consolidated after its first sell-off and then on the positive macd crossover the stock had a 20 percent move so let's see if this follows through this week on MNKD. Last stock I'm going to mention here is HGSI. We've got a cup and handle formation here. Breakout is 650. First target would be 691. And then, you know, a breakout from a cup and handle on a formation like this medium term should take it to 750 to 8 plus. Ideal entry would be a nibble around the 20 day exponential at 610. Stops at $6. And you would add to your position on a break over. Or close over 650. RSI is holding 50 nicely. Nice uptrend in stochastics and a break up over 50. Nice uptrend in on balance volume that shows the fundies are buying. And then we have a positive ADX cross on this one as well. So this is another stock to keep an eye on this week. 
Uh, sorry, I'm making this one really quick. I have got to run. I'm going should be in the chat room all week, but going to be in and out. The videos I'm going to try and do them uh, when I can. So bear with me. Not much sleep expected for the next few days. So I will see you guys in the chat room tomorrow. Goodbye.